I have been an Evernote user for 10 years. Signed up in July 2009. And now, apparently for the 10-year anniversary, I'm considering switching. I can't even believe I'm saying those words. Uh, I actually am considering it. I'm not mad at Evernote, but uh, I'm a sucker for really cool digital tools. And I may have found one. It's called Notion. So I dove into Notion headfirst for the last week. And I decided instead of just tinkering around with it, I was going to really try to set up something here for my personal stuff and see if I could make this work, see if I liked it. And I want to give you my first impressions. So here we go. So for those of you who don't know, Notion is one of those one-stop places where you can organize your life, your files, your links, your ideas, um, writings, you know, concepts you're trying to work through. Uh, I mean, it's it's one of those type of tools like like Evernote is. I'm going to say on the front end, I'm not ready to switch, but I do want to show you my experience with this app. And I'm not saying I'm not going to switch either. So if you want to check it out beyond this video, go to their website. Um, they've got they this thing is growing and it just keeps getting better and better. You can use it as a web page where it looks exactly the same as the app. And they've got a desktop app you can download for Mac and Windows. That's what I have chosen to do. And so now let's take a look at how I've got that set up. But first, um, let's take a peek at my Evernote account here. So just so you can see it, I mean, this is my Evernote app. And, and I've had this, like I say, for 10 years. And I've got a lot of files in here. <laughs> and so I have a lot of notebooks I've set up, um, some things I've... I've deleted some notebooks have come and gone, some things I've saved for the future. I've got some things from years back when we bought a house, years back when we sold a house. I mean, it's I've I've got a lot a lot of stuff in here. So, for me to say, "Hey, I'm just going to jump ship and leave Evernote" is a pretty big deal and it would require a lot for me to do it. Uh, however, I have been intrigued enough by Notion to check it out. Uh, and so this is how I've got Notion set up. And, and I want to walk you through it and show you what you can do with this. So when you first start out, uh, you, it's basically, hey, down here in the bottom left, you're going to click a new page and you can say, you know, you tell it what kind of page you want. And so what I did was I went to the templates when I first started and I said, okay, what, what, what is this? And I went to team home and I said, okay, uh, I'll just set up kind of a, a home kind of page for myself and I'll have links to everything categorized in here. And so that's how I started out. And I set up a basic page. So I'm going to move out of that. I set up a basic basic page called Home. And when I went into it, I started discovering the ways I can customize this. Now, um, one of the things I love about Notion in just a week of using it that certainly applies to me but doesn't apply to everyone, uh, I, th I think the more interested you are in the aesthetic of the tool you're using, the more you might be attracted to Notion. I like the way I can lay out these pages in Notion very easily. I like the fact that I can go up here and I can choose a stupid little emoticon for the page. Uh, it's it's not a, a, a deal breaker. It's not like, hey, this is the thing that pushes, pushes me over to want to use it all the time. But I really like that. Uh, I like the fact that I can add a cover, change cover. I can go up here and choose a picture They've got some of them already built in, you know, that you can use a few. It's not a ton. Um, I uploaded my own picture there, um, something meaningful. I like the fact that I can customize these pages in any way I want to. And I read a complaint about Notion that said, hey, you know, this is really for people who just like to waste time because you're going to waste a lot of time. Um, for me, it's really not a waste of time because if I'm going to be using this constantly, I want it to look the way I want it to look. And so once I've got it set up, I'm not wasting time anymore fiddling with it. I'm using it. So this is a very practical tool, but also one that I wanted to take the time to set up to look the way I want. Uh, so you'll probably want to do that. If you're not into that, you can use Notion just like you would Evernote. Very basic, kind of an outline kind of vibe. Um, so uh, this is the home page. And what I did was I just set up, of course, I, I can name it anything I want. I call it home. And I started adding elements to it. Um, later on, I noticed somebody else putting a personal quote up at the top. And, and I said, you know, that's a really good idea. I've been reading some David White lately, and I'm going to put a David White quote up there. I want to be reminded of that. And I can come in any time and change that, make it something different. 
So after the quote, I have a section called inbox here. And these are basically galleries uh, is what it's called, where, um, and I've got it set up so I can just hit that and uh, choose to add any links. Because for me, if I'm just wanting to drop something into an inbox for processing later, it's either going to be a web link or it's going to be a quick note that I'm writing myself. A uh, reminder, it could be an idea, something like that. Um, and so I've got this set up to where I can just type in a link here. And I do love the fact that it goes and grabs a preview of what's on the site right there. Um, and then Quick Notes looks very similar. You know, I haven't really done a ton with this, but um, um, you could just start typing. Or I can go at the end of the bullet point. New thing. And you can make it bullet pointed. Uh, you can add whatever kind of list you want here. It could be a, a to-do list. You might have a couple sections in here, which is another thing that's real nice. In fact, let's do that. Let's say we want to do a to-do list as well. So we've got maybe a bullet pointed thing for ideas, but we also in our inbox here, we want a to-do list. So we'll drag it all the way to the right and it will drop in. And now I've got two columns and I'll have uh, a to-do list and two. There we go. Um, looks like I've got this formatted wrong. So, so, okay, this is a great example of one of the things in Notion you just have to be aware of. Uh, the formatting is the thing. You, you've got to be sure you drag things into the right spot and, and all that so that if you want two columns, you've got to move things appropriately. And you'll see the little lines pop up to show you where you're dragging things. Uh, but sometimes that can be a little tricky and you just have to get used to it. Uh, but I, And I pretty much have gotten used to how it functions. Um, so quick notes is something that I will process later. I'll come back in and say, okay, I need to put these things somewhere. And that somewhere is down below. Um, now, again, this is my first go. We're talking about a week with Notion. And I've set up a lot of things that are very important to me and are a, a part of my everyday life. Um, I've got my personal stuff here and I've got a place where I can log uh, health statistics. And I, I, I'm just kind of nerdy about tracking things like sleep, resting heart rate, and exercise I'm getting, how much coffee I'm drinking, how much alcohol, you know, what's my mood. Clearly, I have not been faithful there to add that part. But um, also goals. I've got a section here for goals. And that is set up as um, basically th these, these pieces here. Um, I guess I'll go into this. This one isn't too personal, but um, I've got my goals as to-do lists in here. Very simple, I, and I don't overthink my goals too much, but I have them categorized, though, in sections, and each of these are little gallery tabs or, or uh, squares that I can tap on and go in and, and read and remind myself of what the goals are, check them off when they're done, things like that. Um, I love the visual aspect of this, and so if you don't care about that, then maybe Notion isn't for you. But to me, that's one of the big things about this I really enjoy. Okay, so I don't love the way that works. I'd like to go back in the breadcrumb trail. So actually that's clicking home here. So it always shows you the breadcrumb trail where you've been right up here at the top. Okay, so be aware of that. Um, so I've got some personal notes here. I've got some things. Um, that I really haven't, haven't done anything with that. I don't know, am I going to make that a journal? Am I, I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. You could import some information in. I have imported notes in from um, Evernote here. Uh, this is my everyday Apple uh, board where I'm trying to develop different episodes and I've got some related notes here, posting schedule and so on. This is really unorganized. I don't really like the way I've got this right now, but it was using it for a week. I've got some things imported and I'm starting to work with it, but I will start organizing this a little bit more. Um, but just to show you, I mean, it's it's importing pretty well from, from Evernote and mostly pretty well from CSV files. So, <laughs> all right. And then I've got a section for finances, our monthly budgets, uh, and I've got that split up by, by month. I won't go into that. Um, and <clears throat> another thing I wanted to show you was um, I've got a, a section called enjoyments. So I haven't made this extensive yet, but um, I thought this is a really interesting place to store uh, movies that I want to watch, especially, because I'm, I'm always tracking like, oh, here's a selection of movies I have not seen that I want to see. Uh, and so I'm able to, basically by using a, um, a web link, uh, as I was doing before with the um, quick inbox link gallery I was showing you. So 
I just type in, and what I've been go- doing is going to uh, letterboxd.com and finding the movie link and dropping it in here. And this is what will appear when I do that. Um, but what I want to do is, is I want to demonstrate how I set up this very simple process here. So let's add that over here. Because you see it's got a, a spot here that says add a movie. And there's an entire functionality around this where you can set up a, a button that gives you what you want. So I'm going to click add here and scroll down to web bookmark. Save a link as a visual bookmark. Okay. And so, and that says add a bookmark. So I've got that sitting there now. Now I'm going to do add a, let's go down to the bottom here, template button. So this duplicates blocks with a click. So that's what I want. I want a template button here, and I want to call this new favorite. Let's just say new favorite movie. Okay. And here is the item it will create every time I click it. So I don't want it to do thing. Actually, I want this, a web bookmark. I drop that in there. I hit close. And now I've got another quick button here. When I click that, I just type the link in or paste the link in from... Um, letterboxed and it will create the same type of preview little um, card right here it looks terrific so i really love the way that functions um and i, and I like to remember movies because I, I don't have a great memory just like i don't lock them in real well but i can go back to a list like this uh, same with tv shows so i've kind of added you know what shows i'm watching um what shows i want to watch and um i mean this is this looks great to me. Uh, I've got a list of bourbons, and I can pull that from a particular site, but it's the same functionality. I just paste in a link. This one's from distiller.com, and I uh, link to some bourbons I really like, and there we go. So um, one more thing. Over on the side here, I've noticed that uh, you get an outline view of all the pages. So we're back on the home page here. Here's all of the stuff I showed you. And then over here, you've got every single link that's on that page listed out. And that's convenient for navigation. I've enjoyed that. I've used that quite a bit. So my first week with Notion has been pretty darn good. Um, it does take a lot to get it set up the way you want it. And I will say with Evernote, um, the ramp up time is pretty short, you know. Uh, but that's because you don't have as many options as you have here. And uh, I, th I think that is one of the big complaints about Notion, but that's probably because a person might be assuming that they have to do all of the fancy stuff. You don't. If you want to set up Notion boring, you can do that. What is my review after one week of Notion? I'll just put it this way. It's tempting. And I will continue using it and setting it up a little more. Um, I've got a decision to make as a 10-year Evernote user, um, how much better is Notion for me than Evernote? I will keep you posted on this. If I'm going to switch, uh, I will definitely post a video on that and get into more of the um, particulars of Evernote versus Notion. I'll probably end up doing a comparison video. Uh, just to talk about a comparison and why I would switch. But uh, right now, I'm still middle of the road. So hope this video helped you make a decision as you consider checking out Notion. Would love to hear from you in the comments on what tools you've been using, whether or not you've used Notion, whether or not you liked it. Uh, and also, if you liked the video, just click the thumbs up button there for me and um, subscribe if you'd like to. I've got a link right there on the screen. Thanks.